Dang, these are cool watches. I have about 10 of them on the table. Here's one of them. Is this an homage or a genuine Casio? Hmm. How about this one? Super quick. Fun game. And this one. And, ooh. How about that one right there? Hmm. Very quick. This one. Hmm. You guys are good. I think you're 100% on which ones were homage Mudmaster watches and which ones are genuine Casio products. And by the way, I'm cool with both of them. And I own both of them. And maybe you do too. And maybe that's why you clicked on this video. Nothing fancy Mudmaster. Master of G actually in this series. Uh, update. We're going to show you and review right here in this video the GWG. Mudmaster and also show you a variety of homage mud, mud masters and again I'm cool with both of them. I've talked to a lot of team peers ie my audience members my patreon members join TMP patreon link below thanks for the support who own for instance these Smale tactical watches and man do I get good reports from them. They're gorgeous. I mean I just flashed one, this one across the screen. It is an homage you guys knew that. Uh, negative LCD display not possessing the quality, the durability, the functionality of either a GG1000 or a GWG1000. You guys know that. But where we're going to focus on this video are the looks. Can we just do that and be honest with ourselves that we wear a Mudmaster because we like how it looks? And so I'm, I'm going to show you genuine full-fledged GGs and GWGs and they're not exactly cheap. I don't think they're a ripoff, but they're not exactly cheap. But if you don't own or you don't want to go out and spring for those, buy one of these. Use my links below and they come and go. The brands change. This is a Smale brand. I know it's the dumbest name in the world. But man, are they great little watches. They're super lightweight. I have a separate WRV out on these. It's been out for several years. And like I said, my audience has been running them. I'm going to show you guys how to change the batteries in these. They are not disposable. When I filmed that original WRV, I wasn't so sure. But at this point, I'm a watch programmer. So I, I take watches apart, put them back together, mod the hands. That's programming. That's my term. It's what I call it. Uh, so I can, you know, get in there. And it's really not that difficult. So don't huck your Smale Tactical Watch. I'm not going to do it in this video. Later on, we'll dig in it and we'll show you how to replace it. And look at this one. Concentrating on the aesthetics. So we've got blue urban camo on the band. Where the homages really smoke... The Casio product is, are, is in its variety of bands and colors. This is one of my favorite giveaway products to my Patreon members. Again, join. And I send out at least seven per month. Both knives, I send out these Smale Tactical Watches. I'm really on a mission to turn uh, guys on to this product. That it's really cool. And also it's a starter drug for the genuine Casio. Because you're not going to get the same quality. I mentioned that already. I said in the review as a Casio product, you're not. Or the functionality. For instance, I have another brand. It's a Samda. And it's really cool. And I just noticed, noticed this. And I haven't shown it on camera. Here's this, uh, the Samda Casio Mudmaster Homage. And I recommend it. But I want to show you a little flaw in this one. This is a gray banded version. Kind of has a more angular case on it. Uh, I'll show you the case here in a second, but look at the positive LCD display right here, the digit. Oopsie, little bit of a problem, Houston. Now, would I huck this watch if I had, you know, if uh, if I saw that? Not really, because I, I use it as an analog timepiece for me. That's just how I do it. Uh, it is a little bit annoying, and I bought this too long ago to swap it out, and it's like twenty bucks anyhow. So you're not really out a lot. So you're not getting the same quality. It's not the same LCD. I think the quartz movement, I've taken these apart, and it's it's like a Miyota quartz. It's the same as you'll see, not on a Casio, but on any other, you know, pretty good quality analog quartz watch. And then you might have an issue once in a while. Let me say this, this is the first time I've ever seen this, in dozens, actually more than dozens of these watches passing through my hands. So this is a Samda brand, and you know I'm I'm not going to condemn it. And if we change the mode on this, do we still have a problem? 
You know, it's just in the timekeeping mode. Now remember with these these homages, all you're really getting, in my opinion, is a really nice that's time setting mode, is a really nice uh, analog time display, which like I said, I use. And then you're gonna get a, you know just basic uh, stopwatch functions, alarm functions, there's your time setting mode, end of things you get. <laughs> that's all you get but you know what and this is why I'm gonna go pretty light on the and we're gonna go into the GWG in this video so I don't know 30 minutes maybe longer I'm gonna go as fast as I can but it's fun this is watch TV this is what I like to watch I wish I could find a product like this in YouTube I cannot I quit watching all the other watch channels I've done with them I can't do it no more I just make my own vids of what I wish was out there so it's it gives you what you're gonna use most and that is just time that's what you're using. You're not using the AP, ABC functionality on all your Casio products. If you do, it's going to be so rare because we are all equipped with what? Smartphones. That's right. And so there's a lot of functionality there in smartphones. Here's a Smail Tactical Watch. I want to show you some of these colorations, how gorgeous they are. And this is another purpose I want to show, tell you about this, um, this watch, this particular brand. Now, the GWG... And I am going to assume you've seen my other reviews. Otherwise, uh, I, this video would be two hours. Watch my G, uh, GG1000 review, and we'll talk about the GWG here. But check this out. The Smail Tactical Watch and the early, earlier GG1000, which this is one, the bands are interchangeable. This band on this watch is actually off a Smail Tactical Watch. So this is a genuine Casio Mudmaster GG1000. Um, I'm trying to remember its last designation. I'll think of it. Probably 1 Alpha 3. This is a 1 Alpha 3, I think. This is the one I reviewed. It's the one I scuba dove with. I showed you that one. And now I swapped out an orange Smail tactical strap on it, which is cool. And the straps are very high quality on these Smail branded watches. They're very excellent. I cannot tell it any, any difference against this band right here and a genuine Casio band. Here, here's the GWG I'm going to show you in more detail. Really awesome. I think Casio got smart and now they changed the case structure and the the molding on the newer GG 1000s and now you cannot interchange them. So the only way you're really going to be able to tell is to swap them out. So my point in telling you this bottom line is if you have a Smail Tactical Watch, you have a GG not GWG, but GG1000, non-master of G, try to swap the bands out. You might find they work. And by the way, these are fake screws. These just pry out. You just take a little mini Jiller screwdriver and pry them out. No, the genuine Casios actually have to be unscrewed. Uh, and by the way, I find that these retain just fine. Even in scuba diving, they do. And by the way, I just went diving with a smell. Not deep. I went to like 20 feet, and guess what? No leakages at all. They don't sell these Smail Tactical Watches or even the Sam does as being like diver watches. They say like 30 meters if that. So they're pretty upfront about that. Let me show you another coloration. Oh, here's my King Tiger. And this is a nothing fancy mod watch. I, and all I did to this one is I actually took it apart. Real easy to do. I, I Again, I just pried these off, took off the stabilizers, unscrewed the case, and then I painted the seconds hand fluorescent orange, which I think really helps the watch. I'd like to do it on a lot more, but it's time, a lot of time. The case sculptings on these are fantastic. They will fool most people that you are wearing a total G-Shock product. I mean, they again, they don't try to be uh, Casio. They're not saying it. I mean, if this said Casio across the top, then we'd have an issue, I guess. They're just homage watches. And we see that a lot in both the knife and the watch world, for sure. Uh, let me show you this red Samda. This is cool. This is a Samda, and again, I, that, just because this one went man, a little bit cuckoo on me, I don't really care. They're, they're so affordable, and I'd probably still wear the watch just fine. Look, notice how angular and cool the case is on the Samda, though. It's just a little bit different than the SK Mize or the Smail Tactical Watch. And by the way, the names will change. So these are basically, this watch is different from this one, but I wouldn't get too wrapped up about the names. They're just going to change over time. So I'm showing you three versions, SK, MEI, SAMDA, and SMAIL. 
links below. Just go to my links and once in a while I'll go update those and give you the names. Notice the differences in cases. I really love the cases on the Samdas. They're really cool. I did not try to swap this one in um, to a genuine Casio. I do note that the bands on the Samdas are not as high quality as the Smell or SKMEIs. Skmeis. Still good. So we have a stainless steel clasp, double keeper, logoed. It's really a cool watch and it's super lightweight, super cool. And there's some other colors I have of this that I've sent to my team peers. I don't have on the table. Uh, I've been showing you this cool kind of ocean camo. This is a smell. Super cool, man. Oh my gosh. I just love these watches. I'm getting really good reports, again, from team peers who've been running them. Uh, complaints about, hey, my there's two batteries in here. So one battery will power the LCD. The other one will power the quartz movement. Again, we'll get, dig into it later. But don't throw it away. You can replace the batteries. Simple tools. Easy, easy to do. All right, so those are the homage watches. They're affordable. They're super cool. They're basic in their functionality. But they are tops in their looks. They're tops in their value. And in my experience, I think they're very durable. I'm running Smale Tactical watches, and the batteries are well over two years old, both LCD and, well, this is one of them. This thing is like over two years old, this one right here. And they're still chugging along. Some models will have a negative LCD presentation there. I think that is probably the best looking. And if, again, you're honest, you're buying these watches for mainly looks, manly looks, because you're smart. And then, I love this King Tiger camo pattern. It's so freaking ill. Um, by the way, here's a, a side. Do you know why they used the rust coloration on the King Tiger tanks in late World War II, uh, the Germans? That's right. It was actually a primer. Uh, so they had ran out of regular camouflage pattern paints, and so they just used a rust-colored primer in a dapple fashion, not just on the King Tiger, but on other tanks like the Jagged Pan Panzer. Maybe some Panther tanks wore it too. That's just a kind of an aside. Really cool, actually, trivia. But you're buying these for their looks, and for the little amount of money you're buying or you're paying, they're awesome. Great gift watches. Uh, I've given these as gifts. Uh, they're just awesome. Just give them to people, and they—they they, people who are not watch people will turn into watch people from this watch. All right, let's go and show you a new version of a GG1000, and I did show it at the outset. This is a GG1000. We're going into the genuine Casio product now, so you have a couple of these smells, maybe some Sam does. You love them, but you want more functionality. Let's say you are one of those people that do actually use the timing and alarm functions. And maybe the compass functions and barometer functions and other things that I'm going to show you right now. Uh, then I would step up first to the GG1000. It's not going to break the bank. I bought this one for $175. Say hey to the GG1000-1 Alpha 8. $175? That is awesome. This is a genuine Casio, not a fake Casio. And it is very cool. I love it's kind of blue, ice blue, gray theme. Again, this is a 1 Alpha 8. GG1000, previously reviewed here in depth. It's 55 millimeters case, 17 millimeters thickness, 55 lug to lug, dudes. 3.4 ounces, which is actually a pretty light watch these days for me. But if you have a really small wrist, like, I don't know, a 6.5. Um, just go to a local store and try one on and if you ha can find them. They're not like at every store. They're definitely definitely not at Walmart. But there are some places that you can go and ch try on a, a Mudmaster watch and see if it works for you. So I, I really love this coloration. It is a negative display, so you're going to lose out in re readability. There's no getting around it. The one I reviewed, the GG1 Alpha 3, right here. That has a positive display, and in that WRV, I talked about how much I just love that, and I stuck, I stuck with it, man. I just love it. You might remember it had an OD band on it, OD strap, and I don't know if I have that here with me. I am going to talk a little bit about the bands somewhere along the way. So, uh, super quick, this is not a solar-powered watch. I think it has two SR927 batteries in it. I have replaced the batteries in this one. 
they will go out probably in about a year and a half is what I found. They're not super long lasting. That is a downside for the GG1000. So it's not solar powered. It's non-atomic. So if that's important to you, um, this module, which one is this one? It's a module 5476, this one. Um, you might want to upgrade to GWG. But you do get a lighter weight watch. It is substant I wouldn't say substantially, but a little bit lighter weight. And it has, I think, most of the functionality that guys will actually use. There's also another coloration, the One Alpha 5. It's pretty cool. It's kind of a black and tan variation. The One Alpha 8 is a gray blue one. That's probably the one you guys want. I know my viewers, and they're going to love this one. They're, you guys are going to just love the One Alpha 8. It is just so cool. Uh, the One Alpha is a positive LCD display, and if that's really important to you, I detect mostly with my viewers it's not. They'd rather have the cool looking watch, and I totally get it. Totally get it. Okay, so lower left, always this is upper left, lower left, that's how I refer to it. Just super qu quick, we'll go through the modes here. That's world time. Uh, the benefit on the GG1000 is once I press set, set I do dual slewing time with these buttons. When I go to the GWG, I actually have to push out a, a pull out a smart crown, and I'm setting time zones that way. I'm setting times. I think the GG1000 is easier to set. It's easier to manipulate and do things with it. I don't have it in set mode right now, so we're not going to spend time doing that. I don't want to spend too much time on it. Again, thoroughly reviewed in another video. So here's your stopwatch. There's your uh, time remaining. Your alarms are here. It sounds just like all other Casio alarms. And then if you push this button right here, you have temp. And this one up here is, of course, your light, which is somewhat anemic on the GG1000. So it's not super feature rich, but again, I think it has most of what you guys will need. And when you put a really bright strap on it, it just changes the entire personality of the watch. Oh yeah, I did write it on there. One Alpha 3. This has been scuba dove in the Pacific Ocean. Did fantastic. And then in the day, like three years ago, I paid, you can see it, 270 on it. I don't know if I put a tag on this one. Here's the case back on this uh, One Alpha 8. See the module number. I think... Casio could probably step up their game on these Mud Masters. And actually, for that matter, the Gravity Masters and the Golf Master, I think their case backs are anemic. Now that I have a lot more watch experience, they're cool, but they're, they're anemic compared to what other guys are doing or other companies are doing. Um, so there's two GG1000s, and now we go into the Master of G, the top of the line Mud Master GWG1000. Uh, by request, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, this watch was by request. I did not review it in the day. I got a lot of requests. I was like, dude, love the GG. Please get a hold of a GWG and review it. The first thing you may notice, Casio people, is that this is wearing a completely different band. You cannot buy it like this. And sadly, I cannot just put a smell band on it, obviously, because it has a different cutout, it has a different case structure, different sizing. So the GWG Master of G, this is a top of the line, genuine Casio Mud Master. It is uh, its own creature. So I wish it would fit on there. And for that matter, you can't put a GG1000 strap on it either. You're stuck. So here's a, here again. Oh, what do you know? There's another coloration for you. I think this is just the one alpha. This one, the GG1000. But I was talking about the straps. Yeah, you can't swap in a GG strap for a GW. It won't happen. The downside to that, and it is a substantial downside, is you're going to have to go out and buy a genuine Casio Mudmaster strap. And uh, they're not cheap. At least 80 bucks is what I've been finding. There's just not that many out there. I think this one was a JDM strap for GWG, maybe a JDM version. And you guys could dig around on the internet and see all the variations. I'm talking color variations that the GWG has been issued in. There's not that many. But I went out, 
uh, for this review for a cast member and plus I just love it and I got this you know yellow orange strap and man does it make the watch so much better so much better here's the original strap that came on this version of the GWG and it was the one alpha one version and uh, about four hundred and thirty five dollars y'all how's that for pricey yeah so that's why I'm totally, you know, advocating you go out and spend $25 on a snail. Run that and see if the, the form factor works for you. But we'll talk briefly about the features and the, the abilities of the GWG. I mean, they are substantial. You're not just paying for nothing. You're paying for a very quality product and a lot of features. Back to the strap. Here's the tactical block that came with this GWG. And I think most of y'all would just love this. So this is a pure black, blacked out look as it came out of box. Something that you guys love. My viewers love black watches. They love like blacked out tactical watches. I don't know what it is. They just love it. So they're, they're not into colors like I am. I just know you guys. You're just not. So if you got this one, the GWG1 Alpha 1, this is your look. Look, look how misaligned I have it. You get the feel though. You get it, right? And again, this video is mostly about aesthetics. I'm not going to waste a lot of time on all the nitty gritty like I've done before. I will show you features briefly and forget a bunch of crap. <laughs> uh, by the way, I only got one of these. So you're probably like, how many GWGs is he going to show us? Uh, this is it. This is it. Uh, first up, it is a little bit heavier. So the G, G is 3.4 ounces. This is 4.2 ounces. I talked about in this review. And strangely, this is really strange. I thought it was different, but this measures 54 millimeters case across. And I don't think I'm counting the Smart Crown or one of these, you know, jutting out ribs, case protectors, crown protectors. It's the same height, 17 millimeters. And then it's longer across, uh, you know, your stabilizers right here, 60 millimeters. Remember, this one was 55. And you can kind of see that it's a bigger watch span going across your, across your, uh, your wrist. You're going to be hard pressed to find a GWG, Master of G, this one, at a store to try it on. Now let's look at the analog time presentations. I think both of these watches get it right. The GG on the left, GWG on the right. And this is the one thing that I really, really love about the Mud Masters. They're super legible. Pretty much in all the color combinations, they're super legible. You can just basically glance and know exactly what time it is. So it doesn't matter if there's a negative LCD display. In light, you'll be able to see it. Maybe if your eyes are good, you'll be able to see it. But the analog is fantastic. On the GWG, especially this one, the One Alpha one, oh my gosh, the hands are perfect. Look at that. No nothing fancy mods needed. I mean, you've got just a clear white presentation against a stark tactical black background. Very cool. And then while we're here, we'll look into the case. And it looks very similar to the GG. So you've got 3D markers there, just like we see in a lot. All the watches I'm showing you have it, though. But it is a Casio thing. Applied numerals. Gray coloration. Kind of a, that tactical, subdued gray theme going on. And then you have your mode indicator right here in the upper left. Uh, very different, actually, than the GG. So the GG has the rotational disc in the bottom of the case. It has a two-part LCD display. I actually like the GG presentation better, but the bottom LCD does a lot with the GWG. <coughs> For instance, we can repeat time down here. We can go day-date. We can do a barometric uh, representation. So we see the pressures dropping, at least in my location, and back to time. And I think for what it is, even though it's negative display, it's very legible. There's your barometer. We talked about in the GG. Again, this I'm not going to go into it that much depth. Here's your temperature. Again, you have Celsius and Fahrenheit. You can change it. Off wrist is always better. Record keeping functions, data logging, all that stuff the Mudmaster GWG will do. You can dig into the manual. Stopwatch function. Uh, I use a stopwatch, stopwatch function all the time on every watch that I own. Even though I am rocking a smartwatch all the time as well. I know, it's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, we have a timer set up right here. All kinds of alarms. You'll cycle with the upper right. 
has the same sound as the other one did. I think it's a little bit muted in the GWG. Listen. Because of the case. The case is uh, very thick, very protective. This is, again, a genuine Casio. Sapphire crystal on this one. So it's a... Camera just crashed. I don't know why. Recovering data. Now, there's a way to swap over your home time and your world time if you're interested in the GWG. Uh, honestly, I don't do that too often. If I go to a different time zone, I just change it on my home time. And this, like the Golf Master and the top of the line Casios, if you just press and hold, it'll jump back to your time function. And the way we're going to change that time is unscrew your smart crown, which has multiple speeds to it depending on what you're doing, and it'll show you the time zone you're in right here. And then you'll just rotate it. So you see this seconds hand is pointing to your cities. That's how I'm changing it, to be honest with you. Um, if I jump a time zone. But you can uh, slew your times uh, front and back in a world time function in the GWG, Master of G series. And then this is a full ABC watch, atomic watch. And I don't know if I showed you that. Let's go through this real quick. Showed you that. Should have something that says RC. There it is. So it says it received a time signal from Fort Collins at 12.03 a.m. Um, today. So it's synced up. Not a smartwatch. I still love atomic watches. They're very cool. I am rocking a few smartwatches, even some Casio ones. Uh, each one has its advantages. It really does. I mean, a smartwatch has to be paired to a phone. That phone battery has to be working. Generally, there's a procedure you have to do to make the time update. This one um, does it automatically if you're in the zone. I'm talking at least correct its time for that zone. Okay, lower right here. Let me get flow through, go back to time, because it won't access unless I'm in home screen. And we press the lower right. Gets us into the altitude function. Set for my location right now. Easy to set with a smart crown. Upper right will get us in the compass on the GWG. Seconds hand pointing to north. And then this is your bearing line and it's showing here in the LCD display. You can get into the manual, of course. On the GWG, it's module 5463. Dig into that and you'll be amazed at how much functionality this watch has. And you know what? You're not going to use any of it. <laughs> I'm just telling you, just not. That's why these homages sell so great. I said that. Um, don't get me wrong. I love the GWG Master of G. I like having... ABC, Atomic, I like the Sapphire Crystal, I like knowing it's the best that Casio was currently making when I got it. I like all that, but let's be honest, you're not going to use it that often. You'll see it in comments from my viewers, and I don't know if you're finding this video on a you know Google search, a YouTube tagline search, but guys will say, yeah, you're right, and I don't really use the features on my Mind Master. I love it. But I just don't. And a lot of them are like me. They're, they're using a smartwatch on the other wrist that has a ton of functionality. Temperature, weather, text messaging. This doesn't have any of that. But don't get me wrong. I absolutely love it. Let's compare these two. So this is a GWG, Master of G, and the GG. Again, they have kind of the same look. Which one do you like better? I mean, just, again, we're concentrating on aesthetics. Not so much functionality so much. They're both cool watches. Uh, I think functionally, I, again, I like the two, the double LCD display of this One Alpha 3. But this is the top of the line right here. Speaking of which, I need to show you how it looks with the lights off. We'll take a look at that super quick. Uh, on the G, GWG, there you go. And then the light button is right here. That is pretty decent. Look at this. Oh, that's cool. And so you can user select that from one to uh, three seconds duration. Really cool, right? That is awesome. Here's a GG. Okay, these are genuine Casio products. And then let's see how the Smail Tactical Watch looks. Oh, what do you know? There is some loom there, dude. <laughs> that's better than I remember. That, so that's a smell. You won't have any marker loom on that. But you have it on the seconds hand. And I think you also have a light right here. There you go. Look at this. 
it's not a total ripoff. That's a Smale Tactical Watch getting sassy in front of the Casio. Yeah. And then the light on the GG, I think, is right there. There you go. Oh, dude, that freaking lights up. That looks awesome. I think I should do this for like 20 minutes. This is fun. Look at that. That is so cool. So that's your loom. Good idea what it looks like. The loom is fantastic on any of these uh, genuine Casio products. What's the bottom line? The bottom line, at least as far as I'm concerned, by the way, a, a lightning in the background, my all-time favorite OTF blades ever. Here's my special edition I came out with, sold out within a day. This is, uh, I think, serial number 000. What? That's cool. Hey, nothing fancy. Put some wear on that thing. I might. I might love it. The bottom line is you cannot go wrong with any watch that I've shown you on the table. You can't. They're all awesome. Even the homage watches are awesome. Uh, Grant, I showed you that one LCD display. It went a little cocky wampus on me. Whatever. I don't really care. It's only a $20 watch. And again, you can send that back if it really bothers you. Uh, these, by the way, these Samda watches are really cool. I forgot to show you. They have barbs on their straps, so they really retain well. Better than the genuine Casios. I always have to put a second keeper on it. They have been upgrading that feature, like the GBA 800 Smart Casio. This is a fantastic watch, by the way. And this is one I was talking about. I'm going to review it separately. It links to your phone, whether it's an Android or an iPhone. But look at the band on this thing, dudes. This band is fantastic. So it has like tons of graduations here, tons of adjustment, and it has a barb inside the keeper that really retains it. Holy cow, why don't we have that for a Mudmaster? Hmm, my prediction is they will upgrade these line of watches to have it. I bet you they will. Uh, now, there might be some aftermarket strap options out there that I really didn't cover because I'm not aware of them. But when I, I'm running a genuine Casio, I, I'm pretty happy with the genuine bands uh, as they come with a watch, unless it's a color difference. With this one, it was just too dark for me. Again, I think you guys will love the black strap. So I went and got the, the yellowish orange one, you know, the Japanese edition, and it makes me happier. I mean, that it, to me is a really cool color combination, Master of G. But any one of these homage watches are fantastic. I mean, they are. Uh, use my link. Pop 20 bucks. Uh, if you're a Patreon guy, you'll probably end up winning one sooner or later. Because <laughs> I, I, I just buy these by the case, man. I use some of that Patreon money, and I just pay it forward, man. I just appreciate your support, and I try to do giveaways to my dudes supporting the project. Making it keep on trucking. Uh, everyone is outstanding. If you want full functionality, full durability, especially atomic timekeeping, you're just going to have to pony up the money. And it's not, you know, it's not like a, a, a little amount of money. It's a lot. And by the way, I want to give some love to this watch before I totally end the video. Because this is also a very favored watch with TM Peers. And it is the PRG 600, dudes. Look at this thing. This is all, one of my all-time favorite Casio watches. And now I'm rocking just a 24 millimeter multi-cam strap through it. I wish I would have covered that in the review of this watch. I didn't even realize it. It will take a 24 millimeter Zulu strap perfectly. Uh, which one do you like better between uh, the two watches? Nothing. Um, this one is way more expensive than that one. I think you can get one of these for a lot, lot less. Uh, they're both great, and they're just different creatures. I, I love them both. I really do. Got to wrap it up. Thanks for the support again. Uh, great job, Casio. They'll probably keep upgrading these watches. And also, I love the homage watches. Try them out. I think you will too. Nothing fancy. Signing off. See you later.